It's LA Visualizations back at you with another video. So this past week, I took out the Nikon Z6, the other Z6 too that's filming me, filming me right now, the Nikon 28 millimeter 2.8, and the 24, and the and the 24 f4, and the 24, and the 24 to 120 f4. Uh, the reason why I went out was to do a time lapse of the National Harbor. Uh, of the wheel, you know, from um, from sunset to night, uh, or a little bit before sunset to night, and I messed up a little bit on it. Um, I will talk about that at the end. But before then, I took the 28 millimeter while I was doing the time lapse, and I took some pictures, and I'll talk about them right now as the uh, B roll goes through. So I was walking up the National Harbor. Um, I saw this little scene. It's not a great picture or anything. I just like the way the light was coming off behind the little mast there and hitting off the Ferris wheel. Um, and I like the fact that uh, the sun is right there. So, but this was taken on the Nikon Z62 at F16, ISO 100 on the, with the 28 millimeter lens. And after that, I won't be saying that anymore because it will be on the screen. Um, this next picture I was walking towards the spot I wanted to be at. And I just wanted to see how the 28 millimeter will, will handle the, the big ball of fire in the sky um, directly into the lens. And as far as I can tell, it handled it pretty well. Um, composition wise, photos, eh, it's okay. But like I said, just walking to the spot. This picture, so the time last is already set up, and I'm just looking at this, and I'm still trying to get some good composition, good pictures, and not be in the way of my time lapse same time um, I really like the fact the clouds were cooperating I just couldn't work out how I wanted to set this up but I still for the most part like the picture so you can see that the ferris wheels in this side of the picture um, at 28 millimeters I'm not sure if, if I should have been at 30 if I should have brought the 35 with me too because um, on the right side there's a lot of negative space on the right side but I, I don't know Next time I go out, I'll see if I can if I can work something else out. Um, as I said before, I did like the fact that the clouds were cooperating. I was getting some nice colors in the sky and everything like that. So I think this is one of my favorite pictures that I took that day. Now this is my favorite picture that I took that day. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. It just it just I think I like the contrast of the color, uh, the still structure right in the middle. Um, and then leading into to the buildings over there. Uh, this is where the sky the sky was setting. <laughs> the sky was setting. The sun was setting. Um, but I took this on the 24 to 120. Um, this is after the time lapse are done. This is a long exposure. It still wasn't what I wanted, but I still wanted to put it out there so you guys can see what I was doing. Um, but it still wasn't the best uh, long exposure I did. So this is the best long exposure that I did that day. Um, I like the purple reflecting off the water. Um, I like the way the sun was already set. So it's more like, this is more blue hour than anything else. Um, but I really do like the picture. I really like the, the Ferris wheel. So um, my thoughts on this is incoherent, but hey, it is what it is. So um, I'm out here at the National Harbor. I'm doing a time lapse on the original Z6 and vlogging the Z6 too with the Nikkor 28, 28 millimeter 2.8. I don't know if I'm in focus right now because I tried to get the SnapBridge app to work and it didn't. I also forgot my mic. <clears throat> so I'm going to probably have to do some voice layover on this one because it'll probably be a little windy. A little noise wind, but we'll see. But that's what I'm doing behind me. So we'll see if it works. So after the pictures were done, um, my time lapse was done, I went and reviewed it, and I found out that it wasn't long enough. I don't do too many time lapses, so I'm starting to get, I won't say I'm starting to get better at it, I'm starting to see what mistakes I'm making so I can get better at them. And what this mistake was, I didn't have enough of the night portion of the time lapse in. Um, so right now I'm trying to get it from about one to two minutes, and I failed miserably. But I'll still leave it up so you can look at it. And until the next video, why am I scratching my face? I don't know. Till the next video, peace, love, and hair grease.